Hi, my name is Chris Guy. I'm the head professional at the Swena Golf Academy at the Swena Golf Hotel in Belek, Turkey. So I had a guest ask me the other day, how do you become a good wedge player, chipping, pitching, the 50, the 60, the 100 yard wedge shot? Um, without question, it's obviously very important to practice, but obviously you need to know what to practice. Like everything with this game, it's always going to come down to good solid basics. Basics being ball position, basics being starting the golf swing correctly, posture, grip, sharp lean, loads of different variables can have a, a bound effect on actually what's going to happen between the club and the golf ball, contact with the ground, etc. But chipping is essentially the blueprint of any, anybody's golf swing, the, 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 the motion between the starting point of either golf ball and the eight o'clock position, four o'clock as you're looking at it, so eight through to four. That mechanism, that mechanical movement is really the, a good solid basis for the whole golf swing. So certainly learning how to chip well is gonna help you with the rest of the game. But what makes a good chip wedge player pitcher? So this is how I see it. This is what I, I teach down here. Um, I use this for myself as well. Um, Obviously, side-on views are straight down, so straight in front of me. Uh, you're going to be able to see a little bit more correct ball position and correct movement. I'm just going to hit a couple without really talking over too much, so I can concentrate and get the best shot out of it. So here we go. Actually, that'll do fine. So, what have I done? To begin with, it's the build-up. Putting the club behind the golf ball is really important. It gives me the distance that I need to stand away from the golf ball. It also helps me find the center of my stance. So once the club's behind the golf ball, I can adjust myself. I can move closer, I can move further away. Don't get caught up in the habit of putting your feet in position and then putting the club. That straight away is gonna put offset your golf swing. So it could be the incorrect path line that for the for the swing. So Nice and simple, just get the club behind the golf ball, center the ball to the club. But look at the handle, the handle's sitting above the golf ball, that's how the club is designed. We don't want to set the club behind it, we don't want to set it too far forward, but anywhere where the butt is just sitting to the left of the ball as you're looking at it. So, club position first, then my feet go into position, my feet are closer together than inside my shoulders. Ball position is just forward of my sternum, just left edge of my sternum. I still want the club to descend when I hit the golf ball, but that'll be taken care of by the fact that the handle and my hands are actually level with the golf ball in front. So, I got that position. Now, predominantly the movement is mainly upper body. So think of the club, the hands, and the arms and shoulders all moving together in one piece. You've heard it before, one piece. Unfortunately, there's two pieces moving. That's obviously my upper body and my lower body, but I'm not really concentrating too much on my lower body. It's not jelly, it's not soft spaghetti. They firm, but I'm also just allowing them to move. So again, club on the ball, get the position, a little bit of a choke on the grip. And from there, when I move, I move back with my shoulders, I stay pretty stable with my legs, descend to the golf ball, and just let everything move through together. Now that's quite a big chip. I'd be expecting to hit that maybe 10 meters through the air, but if it needs to be smaller, you need to act smaller around the golf ball. So smaller would be much, much smaller, much softer, a lot less moving parts in my lower half, still predominant with my upper body. If I need to hit the ball further, I'm just gonna swing it longer. Set up, maybe just a little bit further away from the golf ball, but the setup, generally speaking, is the same. Just a longer stroke can see the clubs finished longer on the follow through and that ball's gone further down. If I do it face on, sorry, down the line, this should be a good enough camera angle if I go down to that flag down there. Again, club behind the golf ball gets set up. You can now see that the shaft is actually leaning a little bit up more vertical as opposed to lower. Tricky shot this very quick. That will not stop.
pretty good for that far flag. But let's try another one, really short, very delicate. So I actually need to concentrate, once I get my positions correct, I need to concentrate on just how much I'm swinging backwards and forwards. It's all downhill, so I don't need to give it too much. So let's concentrate on just getting this. Right there, onto the front edge of the green. A little bit of check spin, and hopefully it runs down to the hole easy tapping. Thanks. Let me know what you think.